In this video, I'll be teaching you how to do a double declining balance depreciation or a DDB. So let's say we bought a car for $10,000 and the car's lifetime or recovery period is five years. So first make a table like this with all the columns. Now starting in year zero, the depreciation rate is still zero because we just purchased the car. So the car is still in its pristine condition or is still brand new. So this is all zero. And the book value, or how much the car is worth in year zero, is simply how much we bought it for, which is $10,000. Now, in year one, uh, the car has been used, so there is a depreciation rate in which it is 2 divided by n, where n is the recovery period. Now, make sure to dollar sign this and drag all of this to year five. And that's because in a DDB, the depreciation rate is constant for all the other years. Now the annual depreciation is simply the depreciation rate multiplied by the book value of the previous year, BVT minus one, which we know to be $10,000. Now the accumulated depreciation is simply the previous annual plus the uh, annual depreciation this year, which is this amount and the book value of the car in year one or how much the car is worth in year one is simply the previous book value minus the the annual depreciation in this year now once we have this we just have to drag all this down and we get that in year five the cars remaining value is seven hundred and seventy seven point six dollars in comparison to its original cost of ten thousand dollars now to graph this, simply um, highlight this, taking the year as the x-axis and the book value as the y-axis, insert a graph, and we produce a graph like this. Let's change this to five years. Uh, notice the DDB method always produces a graph like this, so it's typically always curved uh, in comparison to a straight line which produces a straight graph which I can actually show here since I've made um, a straight line depreciation for this exact same case so let's take the values from this problem to produce uh, this graph so here we have our uh, straight line depreciation and our double uh, declining balance depreciation and just by looking at the graph we know that the DDB method is much more effective in depreciating the car because it goes much faster and that's because the uh, DDB is basically twice the rate of the straight line method. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.